What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for checking back in with me. I hope everybody's been blessed. I want to say thank you, everybody, that supported my last series. Um, that was a whole lot of relief for me, uh, getting that off my chest, what I went through, when I was discriminated against, and, you know, me losing my parents. And be able to just get that off my chest into that story and to have someone support for that, I appreciate that. All the likes, uh, all the feedback, you know, that was from the heart. Of course, I changed some things around um, based on true events. You know what I'm saying? You know, keep, keep them off their toes so they don't know exactly what you're talking about. But, uh, yeah, I had fun with that. That series was amazing. I wanted revenge. Like I told you before, I got my revenge the first time I wrote uh, my first book, From No Collar to a White Collar. You know, and it just been rolling on from there. A lot of stuff I've been doing in the background, it's this stuff I want to tell y'all too, this life of a black author. Uh, I've been kind of missing off the scene on social media. Like I tell people when I'm quiet, I'm working. As you know from my previous videos, um, I'm into real estate. I flipped a couple of properties. I'm not saying I'm an expert at it, but I know about buying land, uh, acquiring the resources, in other words, the financing, uh, the capital to do it and make it happen. So I don't want to be over anybody's head. I'm going to start with some basics and bring things to reality that people think is far-fetched, but things are right there at your grasp. Like the title said, uh, I hit a lick and uh, forget reparations. You know what I mean? I took my reparations. And how I did that, how would they say? 40 acres and a mule? You know, you always hear that. Um, well, first of all, I hope you realize that those four acres and a mule were given out to the free slaves during that time. What happened was, is when they ended Reconstruction, they came back and took that land from those families who they gave those four acres and a mule. The land was actually from uh, southern South Carolina all the way down into northern Florida, pretty much giving them the swamp land. But... Like I said, when they ended Reconstruction, they came back and took even the swamp land. And of course, I'm behind anybody that's trying to get reparations for us. You know, uh, Tariq is doing a great job over there in California and across the board period on really putting pressure on the system about cutting the check for reparations. But what I want to talk about is, is that what we can do ourselves. You know what I mean? The power that within us. And a lot of times, when you see these subjects and these different things, it seems like it's far-fetched. It's not reality. It's not attainable. But a lot of things that's really attainable, that's right at your grasp, you don't even realize it. Let's give you an example. I don't only like to talk about things, but I walk it how I talk it. If you already read the Black Poe, you know, I really push, we need to buy land. You know, we need to acquire more wealth. We need to take our own 40 acres in a mule. Well, I have a formula for doing that. Don't you know that I went and bought one acre of land in the state of Kentucky for $5,000? I got a personal loan for my credit union and went and bought one acre of land for $5,000. It's in a rural area. That's why I'm looking to put up what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to start a, a pretty much a family resort for not only my family, but vacation homes. And this is the first step in that. I bought one acre of land, y'all, for $5,000. The two sites that I went to, and I'll make sure I put them in the description box, is Land Search and Land Watch. You can do the exact same thing I did. Do you realize how big one acre of land is? That's a football field. So what you can pay for a little used car, $5,000, and pay approximately $125 a month on a five-year term, for a personal loan, which is what I did to get this one acre of land, it cost me $125 a month. And I only freed and clear. I got the deed to that. $5,000. Anybody can do that. You know what you can do on one acre of land? Well, I'm still in the development phase right now. I'm telling y'all just to buy land. You know, just sew up some land like I'm doing. But I just sold up one acre of land that I can build up and leave his generation wealth to my daughter for $5,000.